G'day, Andrew here again from Guitar Street. Thanks so much for tuning in. Really quick one today, I'm gonna to run through this finished project next to me. It's the Chevelle CDS-65. Now you might remember in the first video, I called it a Chevelle CDS-55. What I've since found out is that it's actually a CDS-65. Um, the five-way switch differentiated the two. The first thing to notice about this one is obviously the headstock. It doesn't have that classic dagger-like Chevelle headstock. It's got something a bit more like an Ibanez. It's fair to say these are a bit of a rarity. When it came to us, this one was a small project. It had no pickups. It also had a very big ding. Now, luckily, none of the paint was taken off in that ding, but it was about five mil deep. So what I've done is filled it with glue boost, the clear finish, uh, sanded it back to a shine. From some angles, it's barely noticeable now. Obviously, front on, you can still see this ding. The neck is maple with rosewood fretboard. It's beautiful, 24 frets, of course. The neck is nice and straight. I've given those frets a crown and polish. They're sitting at about 75 or 80%, so there's plenty of life in them. Being a CDS-65, it does have the Chevelle stamped Floyd Rose. The biggest thing that I've done to this guitar is obviously the pickups. In the neck, I've got a custom wound hot rail. I've had this thing sitting around for a few years now. It puts out just under 11K. In the middle, I've got the Greco Virgin Killer. Now these things are absolutely fantastic. They give you a really crisp, warm Strat sound. In the bridge is a vintage Fuji Gen humbucker. Now this thing has been hand rewound by David at Leaden Vintage Guitars. The output's sitting at 16.8 now. If you're interested to hear a bit more of this pickup, you can have a look at the tone test I did on Ugly Paul, the Les Paul project. Another small upgrade, just to add those finishing touches, I added some black aluminium knobs. Okay, so this thing is now listed for sale. Uh, it'll be on our Reverb store and on the website at guitarstreet.co. I'll run you through a few of the tones. Quick note, running through a Vox AC30. I'm gonna push the signal with the AW Auxiliary Workshop Overdrive pedal. This thing's a beast, I absolutely love it and you'll see it in a few of the other videos.
so much for watching. If you want to keep updated on the tone tests of these guitars as they come in and the stock that we have in our rescue guitars and project guitars, please hit subscribe or follow our Instagram account at guitarstreet.co. If you've got any questions about the Chevelle, please drop me a line or shoot me a comment on this video.